So you recently got a hold of Sony Vegas and you're wondering how to exactly to use things because it doesn't look a bit like Windows Movie Maker which we have here. Well, actually, you'd be surprised really. The program is actually, w you know, rather, r you know, reminiscent of uh, how Windows Movie Maker works. I mean, we have all the usual things like s uh, saves, rendering stuff. We have a timeline. And we have the whole. Uh, let's see. He's gonna find the. Here we go. Um, we have that whole, you know, right clicking and then adding effects this way. See, here we have a lot of effects. Anyways, um, a lot of them uh, people who make, you know, try Sony Vegas and stuff like that are wondering just how the hell to use slow motion I mean that's one of the most common questions I've seen so far so um, I'm just gonna show you how this is done eh? we're going to be taking the clip I showed you at the beginning of this video and uh, pretty much recreating it to start off with uh, we'll find the bit that I want the you know where I wanted it to go from super fast forwarding to slow motion which was just after I shot I think it was like here or something. Alright, here it is. Now we'll take this cutting tool and make a very, very small cut. It won't be noticeable in the video itself. <laughs> Let me redo that. After I just move it like this. Okay, now it won't be visible. I think it's right. right. Now time to speed up this enormous clip here. I usually, to help me judge, you know, to get a good speed and stuff, I usually tend to use my uh, audio editor for that. Uh, so, I'll just open this copy in the audio editor. You see, when I speed up videos, I usually try to, you know, make the voice as frequency, I mean the sound's frequency either higher or lower to put in some humor in the whole thing. Let's, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go by 9600. It's definitely really darn squeaky. Of course, you don't actually need to do that whole extra thing I'm doing right now. I'm just doing this because I like doing it. Nice, uh, we'll export this then. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're done uh, with that part. Now we'll uh, refresh, I think. Is it here? going up here. Mm, maybe. Let me hear. Nope. It's appearing in Fraps Vids. Ah, there it is. 4 for 5. Now we'll put this at the end of the clip, and as you can notice here, um, for some reason the sound file tends to corrupt itself, so we'll just quickly adjust that by putting it to the end of this empty line here. There, now I've prepared my sound file. Now to actually speed up that clip, we'll go here to this edge, hold control, hold down the left mouse button, and we'll, then we simply just drag it, like this. And uh, when you think you have a good speed, you just adjust everything back to its, their positions, you know? Patricia. Nice, um, I'll just show Patricia. you the difference between the sound and not sound. First, here. And if we replace this uh, with this one here, it sounds like this. <laughs> So there, we have our speeded up part. Now we'll take this other part here, and once again I will open a copy in the editor. This one is going to become slow motion, so we'll simply take uh, 2250, is that enough? Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and export this as a web to 
five for five. Yeah, that'll do. Do 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 do. No, I don't want to see my changes. Refresh. And as you may notice, it is fairly larger than the other vid. I mean, sound was. It's because it slowed down. Now we'll do the exact opposite. We'll grab the end of it instead, hold down control, hold down left mouse button, then simply pull it to the end. And of course, I'm just going to mute the sound, because I like doing that. Uh, car. Combine these and these, and we should have a neat switch between fast and slow. It's the matrix, uh, but you can actually do that if you put down some more time in this. No, nope. actually, I'll do this. Pull this apart just a teeny bit. I put in a transition here. Um. Yeah, let's take this one. First, we'll have to pull the fade out offsets a bit. Uh, I'm gonna adjust that as well. And then we simply put one transition here and one transition there. That should. Uh, wait, we'll put this together again. Um, okay, I, I messed up something. Definitely. So we'll do it like this first then. Actually, this will have to do. Um, Um, yeah, make sure that you also move the sound. Actually, you know what? Screw the transition. In any case, we have now successfully replicated that thing from the intro. Of this video. Um, yeah, hope this was of any help. Now all you need to do is just render as oh, this was of any help, but seriously, try experimenting a bit.